All right, what I'm going to do today is uh, rebuild this jack here. It's a good jack. It's from the 70s. I think it was a Sears model uh, 328.12,000. Uh, uh, and uh, they, made, they made millions of these things under different names. But uh, this is actually a, a good jack. It's made in Japan, not China, but made in Japan. And it's uh, definitely worth rebuilding. Like I said, it's from the 70s. So what it does is uh, when you pump the handle up, it, uh, you know, the pallet goes up, but uh, it doesn't stay up. It comes back down. So let's throw it up on a table, and uh, we'll see what we can do with it. All right. Yeah, we put it up there. It's pretty heavy. Here you go, made in China. Uh, all right. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to take the, the pump out itself. And this is actually what it's doing. Here's the gears. We'll tighten them up here. And if you look at it, you pump it up, it'll just keep going down. So it's, it's probably just the, the O-rings in the, in the main cylinder. But uh, where we go? Here we go. But I bought the whole kit. The kit was like $45. You know, a lot of you guys are saying uh, $45 for a kit. You can go to Harbor Freight and buy one, a whole uh, jack for 50 bucks, but uh, they're two different animals. Uh, this, this thing here, it's a little quarter inch steel, cast iron and stuff. But, uh, like I say, this thing, this thing must have weighed uh, 75, 80 pounds putting it up here. But anyway, I was looking at it, and uh, oh yeah, these kits here, you get these kits on eBay or uh, anywhere on the internet. I mean, you just, you just put in uh, what model you got and uh, you know, you find them all over. But uh, it doesn't look like I have to take the handle off, but I think I will just to to get it out of the way. Looks like the only thing holding this piston in here on is these. Put the light on here. There we go. Are these uh, wheel bolts, these rear wheel bolts, not even the front ones, just the rear ones, so you don't have, you don't have to take the wheels off. Got one on each side. And then it looks like it slides down into this uh, thing behind these uh, welded plates here. So uh, we'll take that off and uh, see if we can get that. The, we're going to take try and take the least amount of stuff off of this to work on that pump. All right. Yeah, I put this on a tripod here, uh, and I lifted this up. And uh, you can. I'm going to lock this in place, and you can actually lift this up. I'm going to try and stay out of your way. And it is, it's, I don't know if you can see down there, but it is leaking, uh, leaking profusely, so it's coming out the main thing. So I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there's a cotter pin right here. Oh, come on here, come around the back side here. There's a cotter pin right here. And I think that just holds a head in here, so we'll pop that spring off and take that cotter pin out. And hopefully, when we unbolt them two bolts in a wheel, it'll come out. All right. All right. Every once in a while, you just might see a shot like this, you know. So I, I, I know if I uh, have trouble and forget which way that spring went in, I can go back and look at the video. So that's that's just helping me, you know, and like this, see which way that's facing and stuff, you know. So if you just see a quick clip, it's it's just for me. All right. Yeah, I took that spring out. That came right off. Just uh, took a screwdriver and popped right over that little little head there. And then uh, the cotter pin right here, I can squeeze that together and push it down. And uh, I was using this wrench here just to hold it up so I had room to work. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wrench out and turn this thing on its side. And when that goes down, it should push that piston back in and uh, then we can uh, take it off from behind all right let's see how it works okay there we go all right so that's all disconnected you know when when i see other guys do this on on the internet they they unscrew everything, separate the thing, and take it half apart, and I didn't see any reason to do that. So, let's uh, take these wheel bolts out here and see if that jack will come out. Alright, yeah, I took these uh, rear wheel bolts out to hold the wheel casters on, and uh, the jack actually fell out. It actually separated the, 
the sides here spread open and uh, the only thing holding this together was them two bolts. So by rights, this thing should oh, pull right out. Alright. Let, uh, let me clean it up and then maybe we'll throw in a vise and uh, start taking it apart. Alright, we got to clean it up here and it's just sitting on top of the vise. But uh, a few things you want to make note of. Like this uh, filler, this is where you, you, you fill it, put a hydraulic wheel in it. If you look at it, it's it's not in the center, it's not right on top. It's off to the side, and that's they do that for a purpose. So I'm just going to mark it. You know, it goes right about right here. And uh, put a little mark. Alright. Yeah, that's so uh, when you fill it, it'll start overfilling, it'll start overflowing before it's completely full because it needs a little air in there you know for uh, that fluid to work properly uh, I'm going to take this plug out and uh, empty it out All right. even though this plug feels okay I did buy a, another one here it looks uh, slightly smaller from the top but uh, hopefully hopefully the bung holds the same size here alright yeah that's about a two and a half inch nut and I don't know how the biggest wrench I have is two inch but uh, I do have 24 inch uh, crescent wrench here so uh, and a four foot pipe so let's put that on there and see if we can break this loose try not to get in the way okay. now don't want to move alright we're going to put a pipe on there see if that does anything moving. I think we got some movement. Leverage. Leverage is the trick. Here we go. Guys laughed at me when I put this wrench. So what the hell are you going to use that for? Well there you go. Alright, let me take it off and see what's in there. Alright. In my efforts to take off this nut, the bottom piece started spinning here. So I don't know if that bottom piece is threaded in or it's just sitting there. So I'm going to continue taking this off and then, uh, and then we'll look into that. This is spinning pretty easy, so that's good. Alright, I got it loose enough here to spin out. Inside a little thing there, and this here, I don't know if that's gonna come out. Oh, yeah, it'll come out this way. Look, we got a we got some kind of pin in the bottom here, so make sure you notice that. I don't know what's holding that. Oh, you know what? Hmm, I don't know. But anyway, this is gonna come out that way. All right, let me put this down in the bucket here and. I'm going to take this off and, and uh, empty that into the pail so that it don't loop all over the floor here. Alright, I'll get back at you. Alright, I emptied that out. While I was emptying out, this piece here just came off, so that's not, uh, that's not screwed in. That's just sitting in there. So I'm going to put that over there to be cleaned. And clean this up here. Huh. Yeah, that's just the bottom of the piston here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, got a big, big weld there. Alright, I'm going to clean this up and then uh, look it over and then we'll get back to you. Alright, yeah, I cleaned this out. And, uh, I don't know if the light's on. Yeah, the light's on. Yeah, and uh, it's only a reservoir. But uh, that looks good in there. All the machining parts are all uh, nice and everything, so that's in excellent shape. And you look in here. I cleaned all that up. I don't think there's any O-rings or anything to go in there. That's just uh, them two holes, on the, one on the right, one on the left. Uh, that's just like when you push this here, I'll push that. 
uh, let's see what happens yeah you see it squared up that's uh, that's how the oil gets into that cylinder we go pushing it and then it, I guess it comes out the other one and then, uh, on the side here you got a little screen so that's all good the only o-ring I see is this one right here and I'm gonna I'm gonna rebuild this as I go and I'm gonna put it right back together and then we'll mess with this uh, stuff on the side even though these these ones on the side weren't leaking uh, we're gonna replace everything all right yeah, we got that all cleaned up and uh, we're looking at it and uh, all we have is uh, one one o-ring down here for the reservoir I know a lot of people say you shouldn't use uh, sharp objects and stuff but this I'm digging right into the rubber I'm, I'm digging into the metal so I'm gonna have to clean up uh, that little groove but I uh, cleaned the rest of these up and they're in excellent condition this this here has doesn't have a scratch on it it's just pristine as the day it was made and it looks like uh, that's like uh, I don't know if that's plastic or rubber or what but uh, you look at the package here and that's a blue thing and that blue thing, that, that seems pretty hard, but uh, it looks intimidating. You know, you look in here and you see, uh, Christ, six ball barons and like uh, 20, 25 O-rings and stuff. But uh, these are multiple kits. I'm going to wind up with a whole, whole bunch of uh, leftover O-rings, I'm pretty sure. I see that this here is actually a seal. That's not an O-ring, that's a seal. And then there is an O-ring on the outside there, so... I'm going to take this piece out here. I got a pan on the ground there to catch the oil. And that looks like it'll just pull out. Okay. Good shot. Alright, there's uh, there's nothing on this thing. I'll clean this up. Even that, that, that piston there, that piston there is uh, pretty pristine. So we'll let that drain a little bit. Maybe I'll try and take this nut off here while we got it standing up. All right, looks like you have uh, an O-ring down here, and then a seal right here. All right, let's, uh, let's take this screw out. Got a big screwdriver on here. Oh, wow. I thought that was going to be tough. All right. Again, we had the pan on the floor there, so don't worry about that. Just... Uh, Keep your eye open for ball bearings and stuff because we don't know what's going to pop out of here. Okay. This here seems to be just a cap. I don't even think it has a. Oh, yeah, here's a. Here's like a little seal or a gasket there. But inside there's a screw. I don't know if that's the pressure side or not. I know one of these is set by the factory. And I thought it was this one over here I wasn't going to touch, but uh, somehow I think that, that looks like an adjustment screw, so I might not mess with that. But uh, I'm going to take this screw off now and see uh, see what's going on. I'm going to mark it in case that is something, but I'm going to take that out and look at it. All right, I got this one loose. Let's take it out and see what falls out. Hmm. Okay. Oh, look at the screw. I do see a ball bearing in there. So I'm going to put that back in. And then uh, we'll shake it loose. With, maybe we pull it out with a magnet once we straighten it up. All right, there were two ball barons in there, and uh, they're right here on the thing. Uh, the small one, the small one goes down on the bottom, and then the big one goes on top. And I was able to pull them out with uh, just a punch. I put some earth magnets on there and pulled them out so uh, so they wouldn't fall off. All right, I'm gonna go have some dinner, and then uh, I'll come back here and we'll mess with this more. All right, see you when I get back. All right, I'm back. All right, I had to put a wrench on this pipe here. I think that's about an inch and a, a sixteenth, just to, to break it loose. And uh, once I broke it loose, it's okay. So we'll see what's in here. Okay. 
which is the pointy valve. I don't see any uh, any gaskets or O-rings there. We'll have to we'll have to look a little better. You get a flashlight. We'll look inside there. Okay. Yeah, there are no uh, O-rings in there, but uh, what there is is a copper washer. Let's put the light on this thing. Yeah, you got one copper washer on the inside here, and then here's that piece I just took out. Wow, even this even this point here is sharp as the day it was made. But uh, you lift this up, and on the back here's another copper washer. And I noticed there were a couple in there in that kit there. So it doesn't look like a whole lot of washers and O-rings, but uh, man, there was a lot in that package. All right, let me drain some of this, and we'll turn it on its side and uh, start putting some of the stuff back together. All right, I took everything out of the, the package here, and like I say, 80% uh, of these we're not going to use. But uh, let's start by uh, here's the valve that uh, turns it on and off, and you have this uh, copper washer, and then. Uh, flat plate here and a copper washer under it. Okay, these are the new washers here. They're a little thicker and a little bit wider, but they'll work. They better work, right? I paid for them. Alright, so we'll put that on. We'll put that on. And then we'll put that on. And uh, let's walk it over to the vice and we'll put that in right now. Alright, that's one last thing. put just down there so I can uh, line everything up. All right. You know, one little chamber here in the back that had that screw in there, and I said I wasn't going to mess with it because it looked like it was, it was part of the factory setting. Well, I messed with it. And it's got this, uh, this pointy thing on there, a spring, and then this screw. But what I did is I, I counted the rotations as I came out, so I'm going to put it back the same way there. I don't see any seals or anything down there. So, I'm going to put it back just how I got it. Alright, let me screw that in and I'll get back to you. Alright, I got that back in. I turned the thing around here so you see it. And uh, this has a little plastic uh, washer on there. And then all these... This is the closest we come to it, which is the same, same diameter. I mean, uh, the center is smaller on that, but uh, this fits right in here. So that's got to be the one. And we'll just put this back on. Like I said, it's just a cover plug. I just got to seal that. Alright, now let's go over here and see what ones we need. Alright, let's do this uh, this next one here. Alright, got plastic uh, retainer there and then an O ring. Alright, already. I don't see the plastic uh, retainer. And I got everything here. There's one and that's too small. And you got three of these. These are split. And these are all too big. And there's a black one. Here's a black one. It's too big. I don't even think you could. Now you couldn't even squeeze that one in there if you had to, so looks like looks like we're gonna have to reuse this one here. And that's a thick O-ring there. That looks like that will be this one here. Okay. 
stick the o-ring in there and stick that plastic retainer on there and then the ball bearings had the small one and the big one and then we just had this yeah $45 you think they would uh, give you all the gaskets you need I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have more uh, o-rings than I have to do with I thought I had a cross threader but I'm I'm hitting the gear I'm hitting the gear here let me try a small screwdriver just till we get down here Let's do this next one here. That's that's the where the plunger goes. Okay. I don't know how well you guys are gonna see this, but uh, you see it looks like there's, there's some kind of white thing in there. There it is down there. That looks like uh, some kind of uh, protectant retainer, and uh, and then the O-ring. So let me see if I can get that. Okay. All right, that came right out. Actually, I don't know if that was doubled up. It might have been doubled up, but it looks like uh, they gave gave you two here. And uh, we'll find the O-ring. Looks like the O-ring right there. Okay, let me look that over and clean it up and I'll turn you back on. Alright, here's what came out. And here's what's going in. It's a split ring, but this one is thicker. This one's actually thicker. It's about the same thickness as uh, these two put together, which is one. Alright, I checked the instructions just to make sure. You know, I thought maybe uh, one went on the bottom. You know, you can get checked the internet and they give you a whole blow up of this thing. But uh, I checked it out, and uh, it only gets a one. They call this a backup. You put the O-ring in, and the backup goes on top. So I'll see. Let's stick it in here. All right, you know I'm gonna have to dick around with that a little bit, so uh, I'll turn you back on when I get it in. All right, I got that O-ring in down there, and. Uh, the white retainer that goes on top of it that wasn't too bad a little bit of playing with it but uh, now I gotta get this, uh, this seal out and I have a feeling that's gonna get a little ugly so I'm gonna uh, I know I'm gonna destroy you getting it out but uh, I'll get it out and I'll turn this back on and put the new one in alright here's what I did I had to get an oil and and hit it down here to get behind it and then I was able to uh, get a screwdriver and bang it out of the way now you see you're not damaging anything except the the seal and now it's just a matter of Grabbing that and pulling it out. Let me see if I can grab that. All right, got some itty bitty vice grips here, needle nose. Now see if I can grab that. Maybe uh, no. Try it again. Oh. Yeah. Uh, let me keep working on it. Alright, yeah it came out. I mean, uh, it started, it was tough, but I, I grabbed it with the vice grips. I was trying to grab it with the vice grips, and then, then the thing just got under there and pulled it out. So, it, uh, let me get this out here before I forget.
I don't want anything getting down in there. Alright. Now this seal, this seal was put in like this. When I put most seals in, they put them in with this end. So you have something to hit on. And that's what I'm going to do. You know? I could be wrong, but... And this seal was different. This this seal was thinner, you know. But I guess you gotta you gotta take what you can get. I'm gonna hit it down until it bottoms out. Okay. There we go. Let me get a smaller socket and see. Yeah. Alright, yeah, this uh, is sitting on the bottom there, so that's good. I know I should be lubricating this, but uh, here we go. There we go. I'm not going to leave that in there because that's where it belongs. Okay, so this. This is all done. Now we uh, now we got to work on on this here. All right. We try and find that gasket. It looks like that one right there. I should call it an O-ring, huh? Right? See how it fits. Hmm. I guess it fits all right. Because uh, the reservoir, the way the reservoir is shaped, it's beveled and it goes down around the outside of that. So I think that's the right one. All right, let's do the top now. Let's see, it's this one here. pretty good. Alright, now I'm going to have to try and do the same thing with this, this seal here. I'm going to put it in the vise and see if I can knock it out from behind. Not much for me to grab onto, but uh, let me try that. Alright, and it wasn't too bad. I uh, was able to bend over the sides and then uh, turn upside down and, and hit it out from below. So uh, it came out nice. Yeah, these seals here, these are crazy. Uh, they don't make them like this anymore, that's for sure. You know, that's, uh, it's got to be uh, 14 gauge steel there or something. That's unbelievable. Now, now the stuff is so thin you just tap it and it bends. Alright, looks like this one's going to go in here. Where's my little hammer? Magic hammer. Again, this one here, it was facing up this way, and uh, this side was down, so I don't know. We'll see. If it leaks, it leaks. I don't think it'll leak. And again, this one here is thinner. It was thinner this way than this one. Sounds like we're pretty solid. It looks good from down here. Alright. 
Let's move on. Let's go uh, now. Let's let's work on that piston. All right. Let's get us some snap ring pliers here and uh, get a little snap ring on here. Okay. That wasn't too tough. And that comes right off. Yeah, this one here. It's a it's a tougher rubber, but you can see. Wow. I don't know if you can see that. Any angles? But uh, it was really this one here is just about flat. This one here's got a nice big ridge on it. I guess that's why it was leaking. That's just a piece of steel. Now, I don't know. What this is for. But I think I'm gonna leave it. You know what I mean? We just put our Ah, uh, here we go. And put a last behind it. I was going to say, you know, without that lip, I don't know which, uh, which end goes in, but uh, I do it because this is the back. All right. Let's put our uh, snap ring back on. Make sure it's snapped in there. Okay. All right, we're good to go there. All right, now it's just a matter of putting it back together. All right, so this is what we replaced. All this here, don't look like too much, but this is what we had left over. You know, this is for other kits, I guess. Not too bad. All right, now I'm gonna replace this. I'm gonna put everything back together. I'm gonna take this off just to get it out of the way because I have a feeling I wanna wrestle this. Well, maybe not. Let's get that in there. Yeah, no, it looks like it's going pretty good. Let me go get some lubricant anyway. Maybe a little uh, Vaseline, petroleum jelly, I think uh, I've heard people use. Alright. Yeah, I got some petroleum jelly. And, uh, no lie, this has got to be uh, 30, 30, 30, 35 years old or something. Oh, there you go. There you go. There's a date on the back. Expiration date. I think you see that. January 12th, 84. Still good though. Never heard of that stuff going bad. So, just put a little bit here on the bottom. Real thin coat, so you don't even know it's there. We go look at that. I'm happy. I hear it whistling out the bottom, whistling out the holes. So it's pretty tight. All right. Now we'll put this back on. And if you recall, you turn around here. Here's my mark for uh, for that uh, filler. Now, since I got the Vaseline out, put a real thin coat on this O-ring here. Okay, and then a little bit inside. Oh, oh, that's not a good sign. Wow, this should have been tight there. Yeah, that should be tighter than that. That's, uh, that's scary. I mean, that's what it was leaking before.
you know, and I don't think it matters which way I put that on because, you know, it's it's loose both ways. Wow. Hmm. Oh well, maybe it's because the Vaseline is on it. We'll never know. Let's just hope it don't leak. If it leaks, then we'll have to uh, get another one. Huh. Our seal isn't isn't going down. Isn't going in here. I'm gonna mess with that. We may have a we may have the wrong seal on there. We'll see. Let me check it out. Okay. I did take that out. I tried to, I tried to tap it on, you know, because actually the, this thread here is what pulls that down, and uh, it wasn't going. You know, it wasn't it wasn't happy. So I put a, a thinner gasket on there, and uh, it seems to tighten up pretty good. So you see, it's a little bit, you know, I mean, it's it's there and it's working, and uh, you know, it's tight, and then. When you tighten down on that, it'll seal. So I think, I think we might have had the wrong gasket on there. Or should I say O-ring? All right, let's get back to where we were. All right, I got my hole lined up here with my little uh, mark there, and uh, going to tighten this back down. Yeah, I was thinking this this up here is more of a wiper than a seal, so I think we'll be okay. You know, that big blue thing was was really to seal. So. Right, let me tighten this down a little bit. All right, I got it. Uh, I don't think I have as tight as it was, but uh, it's tight. All right, I'm gonna uh, move it over to the table here, and we'll uh, put the jack back together. All right, we're all put back together, and uh, you see down there is our hole. And uh, all we're doing is uh, putting hydraulic fluid in there. You know, hydraulic oil. What we're doing is we got it in a little squeezy bottle here with a little rubber tip on there. So uh, we're going to fill it up until it uh, comes out the side. And then uh, we'll pump it up and then uh, put some more in there. It's pretty tight down here. Uh, you guys probably can't see much of this anyway, so... Uh, I'm going to fill it up and then uh, we'll turn you back on after it's uh, all full. Alright, it's full. It didn't, use, it didn't take much. It only took uh, about a half of one of these here. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to lock it and then just keep pumping it up. And you hear it gurgling. Make sure you got it locked. In. There you go. And it moves back a little because you really couldn't see. Yeah. See now you just keep pumping it up. And when it gets to the top, you let it down, and then you fill it again, and you pump it up again, and you should be fine. But uh, so far, this one looks like it's doing pretty good. I couldn't even get to do this before. All the way to the top. Let it down. I can hear it going in. Now I'm going to fill this again. Until it comes out. Starting to puke out now. Now oh, you know what? Make sure you tighten it. I forgot to tighten it. And then you just keep cycling like that and it should be fine. Alright. 
it's too dark out there now, but uh, I'll take it outside and we'll try it on a truck. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, instead of waiting until tomorrow, I got a car right here. So why not use this one, right? Tighten it up. Alright, trying to heat it up. Alright, trying to hit you guys here. Yep, lift it up, no problem. Stam right there. So there you go. If you ever come across an old jacket, it's uh, well worth picking up. All right. You guys uh, learned something, or is this helpful to you? Subscribe. And if not, subscribe anyway. All right. Enough of this.